purpose of the following series of videos is going to be to introduce you to the software and the various phases of the orthodontic module within the Blue Sky Plan software. Uh, first of all, we want to make sure that we're in the orthodontic module. Over here on the top right, you can change module from surgical guide settings to the cephalometric module, the orthodontic module, and any other modules that as we add them to the software. So for now, the first thing we want to do is familiarize, uh, familiarize ourselves with the various buttons um, and the menus. Uh, most of these m menus are fairly uh, self-explanatory, but a few of the ones I want to talk about first um, would be the file menu where you have your typical new project, open project, save. Most of those uh, shortcuts are going to be right down here as well. And then in the uh, edit menu, the undo and redo, which will also be right here, these arrows. And then lastly, the tools menu right here. Coming down to preferences, there are some preferences for the orthodontic module, which will change over time. We'll be adding and subtracting from here until we um, truly refine the software. But this allows you to change some of the settings for the software. Um, also, you can take note on the help if you come down to about. This will be able to tell you which version of the software you're using. So uh, as we, you know, as new versions are released, you can keep track of which software, which version you are currently running, if you need to update. Um, also, the actual uh, check for updates button. Okay, so in the actual software, to get us going, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to be opening up a case. And in this case, I'm going to show you a, a sample case of treatment plan in the upper arch. So I'm going to click right here, which is new project. One of the things that stumbles people up a little bit is o uh, open project and new project. Just keep in mind, unless you've already worked up and saved a project, you won't have a case to open. You're looking for a new project. Um, we're just going to be going over a single STL file case as opposed to integrating with DICOM. That's a more of an advanced feature, but just want to know that it is there. So f I'm just going to click here. I had a previous case open. Um, right now, I'm going to come into this demonstration case. In this case, we're going to look at the upper model. If I click on it, wait for a moment, let the preview work its way and show you the model. This gives you a quick preview before you open it up before you, so you can look at the model and see that this is indeed the case you're hoping to work up. Okay, I'm going to click OK, and this should open up the case. Now, we're going to follow over here the orthodontic panel where everything is going to happen within this panel. And as we progress forward, we're going to click a button that will always be at the bottom to advance to the next phase of the process. It's going to walk us right through everything. So if we've opened this up and we want to look at the imposing model, we're going to work our way from top to bottom. Import opposing. We click here. Once again, I'm going to bring the lower. Wait for it to load. There's the model. Again, you can just take a look at it to make sure it is indeed the same model we're planning to work up. Click OK, and now you can see the two models have been brought in in occlusion. They're in occlusion because when they were exported from the software that was used to generate the uh, digital models, they were occluded there. We have not adjusted or brought them into occlusion in Blue Sky Plan. That is done in your uh, intraoral scanner or extra or desktop scanner software. Keep that in mind. The models should already be oriented before you bring them into Blue Sky Plan. So since we're going to be working forward on this upper arch, I'm going to go ahead and hide it by just unclicking the show button so that the lower model disappears. The next thing we need to do is we need to go right from top to bottom. This is a lower arch. We want to tell it that it is in fact the maxilla, not the mandible. You can click whichever one you want. So this is the maxilla. And now we're going to name this patient. I'm going to call this patient Jane Doe. And that is the end of this phase. When I click here, it's going to advance to the next phase. Um, but that, and here we go.